Hello Epic viewers from around the multiverse, we're pretty basket and unprecedented glory because today I'm going to be commencing my FLB epic review appertaining to the rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figures. Are these action figures paradigms for the and perfection? Are they abysmal? Or are they egregious? Or are they characterized by insipid mediocrity and no facets? In my objective opinion, in the form of a quantitative score, at best with me being magnanimous, I'd have to raise these action figures to be a 5 out of 10. Why? Playmates Toys has done the poll and job relative to, um, their past competitors. These action figures are priced at um, the cost of a Toy Biz of Legends figure. In spite of this, um, they lack 32 to 40 points of articulation. They lack stellar accessories. They lack a robust, high quality, extraordinary build a figure piece for a 14 to 16 inch build a figure. Um, that offered unprecedented value to the multiverse and to the hardcore action figure collector. And of course, these figures don't have shadings, nor decos, nor designs, nor sculpts, nor textures, nor even anything on par with the Toy Biz Marvel Legends action figure. Yet again, Playmates Toys has the goal to charge as much, if not more, for these figures. Then the retail price of a Tobias Marvel Legends action figure that retail for $8 plus tax can bundle with a comic, a slew of stellar accessories, and of course, a high quality state of the art build a figure piece that would allow your imagination to run wild and escape the parameters of your mind. I'm just exaggerating a bit about them. Um, the latter part, but you get um, the gist of this. Let that marinate into your mind. The Tobias Marvel Legends action figures were golly, they were divine, they were celestial hunks of plastic. I love these inanimate objects, but let's move on. So Playmates Toys really has done a pitiful job. Their performance has been disgraceful in recent years. Um, they made action figures that are held together by string, and um, if you try to pull an appendage outward, um, all the joints would, all the appendages would um, break apart from the body. They had terrible designs, and you had figures that were hollow in their feet. They're probably still doing that. Um, you had figures with minimal articulation. They just try to skin back cut corners. You have figures comprised of rubber. So they may have a nice presentation, but when you open them, you find out that they have these awkward poses like this, and their articulation is very rudimentary. And um, they're going to give us rudimentary articulation, you know, give us two fisted hands or two um, semi um, clenched together. Um, hands or weapon wooden hands as other action figures like to call them so that at least you can slide armaments into your figures so they look poised for combat but um, when you have these weird poses with open hands where um, they're um, pivoted at an angle in terms of um, their feet um, it's just um, a recipe for um, an explicable disaster. So these figures um, truly take the cake. They're not as bad as their predecessors, nor are they as um, meticulously detailed as the um, 2007 TMT figures. So I just try to be objective. Um, let's just move on and get into the damn review already. So here we have um, me Swiss. Um, relative to the other um, TMNT figures, he's burly, he's bulky, um, he's morbidly obese, um, he can take a hit, he, he utilizes his fat as a buffer to um, safeguard his organs, to um, tank, you know, to um, mitigate damage, and to um, stave off his adversaries. So, not a bad figurine per se. Um, his articulation is um, rudimentary. He has um, shoulder articulation, um, elbow joints, um, and he doesn't seem to have pegs in the knees, so he's devoid of um, knee joints. It's too bad he lacks a butterfly joint, but oh well. And his um, I'm uncertain as to whether or not his head can be um, swiveled or rotated, but I'm not too bad, at least. Um, 
his hands are semi clenched together so he can wield weapons and he has one open hand. If you're going to give us hands, um, make sure they're either fisted or semi clenched together. If not, then give us multiple interchangeable hands so we can um, customize our own um, hand orientations, you know, or hand poses. Or, um, hands that are wielded, or whatever the show you want to say. So he's um, a new character, he's quite a novelty, I like his design, I like his sculpt, I like his, his textures, I like his details, he just, um, is characterized by a bit mediocrity, nothing special for um, $8 plus tax, or $9 plus tax, um, nothing truly ab abysmal per se, um, he could have been improved in terms of um, size and articulation a bit, but for the $8 price point you can't expect much, so 5 out of 10. Um, if you want to be real generous, I guess you could give him 5.5 out of 10, because you have to utilize a $8 Tobias Marvel Legends action figure as a benchmark for comparison of value and relative to um, the $8 Tobias Marvel Legends Juggernaut figure, considering this figure is the same price if not more expensive um, in terms of his retail price. I really have to give this figure a 5 out of 10, this may be an eminently generous. If I look past um, the $8 Tobias Marvel Legends Juggernaut, um, maybe I can give this figure a 5.5 out of 10, but that's pushing the envelope and stretching it too far, so let's move on. I apologize about digressing. Um, here Next we have Raphael. Um, again, I'm going to also rank him a 5 out of 10. Um, I'm not into the design. Um, as per my favorite TMNT um, figures, um, I love the NECA TMNT figures, I love the um, video game um, designs. I also love um, the 2003 um, TMNT figures are based off um, the comic book counterparts, and that series was ominous, it was dark, um, and it was, it was adult-oriented. It wasn't um, Jejun, it wasn't um, kid-friendly per se, um, but um, kids loved the action. And um, this series unfortunately fails to deliver. It's appalling, despicable, and disgraceful relative to the, relative to the 2003 Tim and T series. So um, the Raphael figure um, may possibly um, be the best um, Tim and T figure out of um, the four brothers. Um, he has more weight. He's a bit. Um, heftier, he's bulkier, he has um, more plastic per se, um, and his musculature um, is likely um, larger than the other turtles per se. Um, he comes with these um, enhancements. Um, I guess they're supposed to augment his powers. I don't know. He comes with um, weapons that look like batons. Um, I'm not sure what they're exactly called. Their monikers are an, are an enigma and they elude me. Um, let's see here. Um, He has um, holsters for his weapons around his belt. That's not bad per se. I'm sure you can snap them in. Um, he seems to have um, elbow joints, um, knee, knee joints. He seems to be able to swivel the head. Um, he has shoulder joints. Um, and he also has joints of the hip. Not bad. His pelvis is practically invisible, but perhaps you can see it um, from an angle if you change your um, vantage point or your perspective. Um, he's truly the muscles of the group, and me, Swess is supposed to be the tenderizer. I'm not sure what that's supposed to denote. I guess he's supposed to um, pulverize his adversaries to bloody pulp and subsequently devour them and dismember them. I don't know. Um, the show is not um, 
supposed to be on par with um, the TMNT comic book series. Nonetheless, um, you could be imaginative and pretend that this character can um, fit um, the comic book lore, you know, just because he looks like a sadistic, um, malicious, malign, malevolent, cunning, conniving villain. He has ill will, he has malintent, and his attitude is hostile, his words are vituperative and bitter and sharp. See, I'm just role-playing that um, this guy um, embodies evil, but he's probably a light-hearted villain that poses no real threat. He's not truly really a menace to the turtles. Um, and then you have um, Raphael. I guess he's supposed to be um, the light-hearted um, asinine character that's supposed to be the comic relief character. I don't know. I miss the old Raphael that was a vigilante that um, became the night watcher that um, was essentially like a renegade rogue hero um, that acted on his own that um, was essentially a one-man army. This Raphael um, just caters and panders to no one because the kids may be appeased but the adults um, from a time of antiquity such as myself and Merlock of the past are not. We're agitated and infuriated and imbued with anger for no reason. Um, over hunks of plastic that um, have no bearing on our future that we shouldn't hone in on, but we do anyway because we love focusing on trivial, venial nonsense that has no um, context to our life, but that um, provides us with an escapism from um, the monotonies of everyday life, or I should say the drudgeries of everyday life. So, these weapons have one color scheme. I like the translucent um, red um, paint that's been molded into the plastic for the um, mystic um, augmentations. The shuriken of this um, dull, um, unappealing gray color. Um, His shell seems to be molded on rather than painted on. That's good. Both on the back and on the front. Maybe it's glued on. Um, but um, Hasbro would have painted it on. Hasbro always skimps. Um, Playmates toys skimps as well. But um, this figure is one of their um, better figures per se. At least in the um, rise of the Team and T line. Um, and this is all just... These figures are essentially just one big advertisement for the, for the series. Um, the figures, the series is supposed to entice people to buy the figures. The figures entice people to watch the series to learn the lore and be engrossed and entrenched in the content, and then subsequently buy more figures. Just calmness and a recipe for destitution and dingens and um, poverty as people hemorrhage money and more um, of these figures that. Um, are just lackluster relative to their Tobias Marble Legends counterparts, but because he has articulation on the requisite areas, because he comes with a slew of accessories, and because um, he's bulkier and heftier and um, more masculine than the other turtles, he's not as scrawny and dainty and fragile. I'm going to have to give him a 5 out of 10, and that's me being um, eminently generous. So the Miswas figure and the Raphael figure are probably the um, two best figures in the line thus far. I want the... Um, Leonardo figure. Leonardo's my favorite character, but they've just bastardized the characters, you know, they're um, just not as um, appealing as they used to be. And if you want a good Team T series, check out the 2003 series. Um, it has witty humor, it has dark moments, um, it pretty much merges um, the best elements of um, the comic books and um, witty dialogue together to um, just create um, an appealing, captivating, riveting show that will be dazzling you. You have Michelangelo cracking jokes and you have other turtles that are serious, solemn, and poised for combat except Donatello. He's um, my back. I love Donatello. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this review to be insightful and informative. Have a blissful, glorious day, goodbye.